Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Joy Flight Unscheduled Impromptu Stream So if you're watching this back uh, on replay Basically I've just set this up with a 5 minute warning And decided I'm going for a fly So I have put a flight plan in my uh, Discord But I'm all by myself. No, no, we've got one viewer. Welcome. I'm going to be taking this Irish plane. At least Irish livery. French plane. I kind of thought I'd do a late evening. Just uh, jaunt around Ireland. Go and have a bit of a sightsee. No real... Uh, plan other than to uh, take something that is completely different to what you normally see in a stream, which is pretty much most of my channel, um, for a fly around Ireland. And why not? It's already got Irish livery, and I thought, yep, 100%. I have showcased this one before. There we go, from the French website. Reach T and Hayes is around. Okay, fuel is not full, so I might just top that up because I don't know how there we go over the 7.5 times 100 7500 litres alright I don't mind this plane it's really nice what the light situation like don't know if that went on or off don't they have lights in the 50s on planes Nope, can't tell. Alright. We've got a hazer. Doing a buzz pass. Okay, cool. I am on West... Oh, don't you dare turn my engines off, thank you. I'll take that park brake off. I wonder if that's my controls or there is an, actually an issue. The moment you put your uh, accelerator on, or maybe I've got wiring issues in my throttle, that uh, sometimes I turn off the um, park brake, and it uh, put my foot on the brakes. That doesn't actually show up. Okay, put that park brake back on till the engine start up again. I don't know what happens with that. All right, where's my left and right engine? I've got RPM there. Ah, oh, it's the second nozzle, uh, next second needle, I guess. Let's turn that music down as well. So, uh, that was an unsuccessful start. I went to put my throttle on and stalled it. Right, do we definitely have both engines running? I can't tell. About to get buzzed again. Here we go, Hazer. Hello, Hazer. I'll be up in the air in a moment, mate. I really can't tell. Yeah, I can, no, I can hear that starting. I am going to get some juice into that in case that's what's holding it back. Oh, I killed that one. Oh, you're kidding. There we go, come on. Almost tempted to restart just to uh, get it into the air here. I'm sure we have a left and right on that. Yeah, little fellas. <laughs> We're so getting buzzed here. If only you had this aircraft, you can see what I see. Although, why is yours blue? I say that probably is what you're in. All right, now I hear them going. Turn those magnetos on. Where is my second needle moving? There we go, thank you. All right, if you're interested in getting this aircraft, it is in my showcase videos. Uh, I have not linked it in this video. Uh, okay, let's put that there. Once I get it up to full, I'm going for a joy flight. 
and we will be departing heading south. Two zero seven. Okay, I'm good to go. Thank you. I'm going to do this from outside. Got to turn off my park brake. Try that again. There it is. Thank you. All right. See you, Hazer. I don't remember how this thing flies, how well it does. It seems to want to pull to the left. I don't know if we've got one engine more than the other. Probably should put those external engine controls so I can see what it's doing. Ooh, might have a crosswind there. Alright, we're up. Thank you. make the end of the uh, runway here and then we'll take a, uh, a left. I'm looking at getting to very high. Probably don't need the flaps on. Okay, contact me next when you leave your airspace. Thank you very much. All right. All right let's move that mouse out of the way. All right, let's go see what we can find. Hayes is still running over the airport there. Ireland, this is Dublin, hey? Very cool. Never been. All right, that's my flight path that way. Where am I supposed to head? Uh, down to Rose Fitzgerald. I think it's a castle or something I'm supposed to be going to. 207. I wonder if we can actually get an autopilot to hold altitude here. Well, that looks promising. Yes, it does. And I can probably set an altitude, let's say 2000. And now we can <coughs> grab the controls and have a look around. Very nice. So you just pop back in. I am type. Type military, type what? So if I put on autopilot and then put on altitude climb. There we go, now we got it. Paul Donnell approach. Okay. Let's get that, that off. So, quick shot of where I am going. Let's put this back on and move it out of the way. I am going down to Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that 2000 is going to be enough here. Let's just take that to 20, 25. Thank you. Uh, then down to. What did I say it was? Uh, down to Cork, is it? Yeah, down the bottom, and then we might end up landing there for some more fuel, back at E-I-N-N, -N. that's back up the coast and then over. And I've not decided to stay away from uh, Northern Ireland there, I will do that in a separate one, a separate joy flight and or multiplayer flight. Now, we are not going to make this if we stay here. Definitely got enough vertical speed there. Okay, I'm gonna put that back on. Super 994. Oh, awesome. Hello, Super. Almost there, isn't it? All right, got an Irish jet fighter from the 50s. 60s, well, 50s or 60s. I left Hazer back at uh, Dublin. 
you're interested in flying with me, uh, you are welcome to. If you're interested in chatting to me in uh, live stream channel on my Discord, uh, you are welcome to do that as well. Now, I'm just looking at my directions. I don't think I'm actually heading the right way. So, 207. Yep, thought I was a bit off. Might also take up to 3,500. No, four grand. That'll do. get back over onto the flight path and back to 207. And I don't think too many people are going to be watching this time of night. Uh, I'm a bit early for uh, most people, or a bit late for some. So this is kind of a joy flight for me, but I am going to stream it because it will be available for, uh, I guess, a uh, replay. Loving this aircraft. Love it how it's got a wheel in the back. There, obviously, a uh, skid plate and wheel for preventing tail strike. Although it does have very low or small uh, landing gear uh, height, I noticed. All right, can see my fuel going down. We might end up having to um, land at, uh, what did I say it was again, Cork, and fuel up. Now, I've got my normal ambient starting music, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight for the uh, rock beat. There we go. All right, what are we doing? We're doing 300 knots. No, 300. Yeah, that's knots, isn't it? Are we doing 300 knots? Yeah, we're doing 300 knots. Oh, I have mucked up my angle again. Let's get back over to 207. And I might actually take it down because this is my joy flight. There's nobody flying with me. No. Let's take it down to the creek. Let's just see what we can see. Yeah, I'm not at 3,900 feet anymore. You're probably going to lose me on radar here. All right, Astrid. Hello, Brett. Keep playing. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? You can come join me if you like. Opa says hi. Opa S. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. A box says hi. 995. Oh my God, that's awesome. Now I do have a thing on there that if I do get a sub on stream it should pop up but uh, maybe it's not working where am I heading again? Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge I have no idea what that's, who that is I, I'd have to uh, google it alright that's about the right direction Shannon Centre ok I'll let Copilot take care of that all right, definitely got my right controls for this plane. Just go around the mountain. Just got to keep an eye on that fuel on the top right hand side of my panel there. The kerosene L times 100. When we get down to about two, uh, we're probably in trouble then. I'm, I'm chewing fuel up already as it is, so I might end up having to stop at a few airports. These 1950s planes are not necessarily um, economical on their fuel. Probably back off a fraction. And I'm not doing a straight line anymore, so... What joystick am I using? I am using the SciTech 
uh, X55 Rhino Hotos, Hotas, um, which basically has been replaced now by the Logitech, because they bought out SciTech, I believe, uh, X56. So this is a little bit old. You know what? I'm going to turn on ISO line map so I can see where, where and if there are any hills. Oh, you cannot put your mouse. Come on, I've done it half a, time, half a dozen times last week. You leave your mouse over the VFR and you have no control. That's terrible. Look at these houses. Isn't that nice here? Tree. Super says 996. Oh my god. Somebody take a picture when it gets to 999 and put it on my Discord. My wife's going to be busy soon. She's going to have to go and pick a winner for uh, people who have gone and watched those videos that have the uh, keywording. First thousand subscribers. Now, you're going to get through those blades up there. Looks like we've got to head that way anyway. They don't look that big. Maybe when I get closer to them. Oh, we're getting a bit of turbulence. Must be a bit of wind here. Woohoo! Some negative Gs. Still got to get to this uh, bridge. Rose. Fitzgerald Kennedy. I uh, have no idea where that is. You know what I haven't done? I haven't turned on my Volanta, so very quickly I'm going to load that. Don't sit on my screen though. So if anybody uh, wants to join or at least work out where I am on the flight, I should have done it right at the uh, beginning because it tracks where I go. Oh, I'm getting 24 frames per second loading into that. All right, there we go, back to 49. Okay, you minimize there, thank you. And where am I? I'm in Ireland. There I am. Oh! Let's not hit that one lone tree on top of the hill there. And let's zoom in on the VFR now. Keep me in the middle. And this bridge is... Uh... There's a river or creek or something up here. I'm not sure how far ahead, but it is almost directly ahead. We'll have a look. All right, so I've got Volanta running for you guys uh, who are watching. If anybody wants to uh, have a look. All right, I'm going to see what other views there are. Out to the left. Is that it? Oh, well, that ain't much. Let's bring this view back. Plain guy, I live in Ireland. Whereabouts in Ireland do you live? Because right at the moment, I am heading down to the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge, which I have no idea what it is because I didn't Google it first. Uh, but then I'm going to, where did I say I was going again? Cork? I think it is. Right down the bottom, and then I'm, I'm going up the west coast. Uh, and obviously a landing at uh, I can't remember my final destination now I had it written there <laughs> you know what you cover things over with so many screens and stuff where am I going I'm going to Donegal alright so I'm staying in the main part of Ireland so not Northern Ireland where's this bridge and what is this bridge about? How about an Irish person tells me? I'm also flying an Irish livery French jet. So I don't know whether it's a fictional or you actually did have these back in the 50s and 60s. It's very likely. All right, we've got a bridge coming up here. Follow the uh, the river. Oh, what was my fuel like? Ah, it's only hardly moving. We're good. I would say that's the bridge up there on the horizon. 
Oh, you know, I, I so want to go under. Going under bridges is not a good idea. But, who cares? Do it anyway. So I'm guessing this is the bridge, because it's the only bridge here, and it seems to be right about the point that I'm said, and try and get it level. Will it let me under? Yes, it does. Oh, no problem. That's a fancy bridge, isn't it? All right. Let's see if we... Whoa, it doesn't like falling back on it. Stick that far. Let's see if we can recover that. Thank you. Good to go. Where's that bridge? Below me? There it is. Doesn't look like the road's finished though. What's what's with that? Is it a bit of a dirt road? Is this bridge new or is the Bing maps really out of date? That's a bit of a shame. Looks like they've been doing some work on it. Maybe it's new. Oh, it's got construction stuff there. Is it still under construction? Cool. Alright, well, we need to follow this road pretty much down south now. Where are we heading? Eek. Is that how I pronounce it? E I C K. Eek. Okay. 246. Heading. Now you know what? I'll take the road. Fuel is still above 6,000 litres of kerosene, so uh, I will probably skip this airport. I'll, I'll go to it. Oh, I might follow the road. Well, the road's leading the wrong way, but does there is a right-hand junction coming up. Now, are they driving on the correct side of the road here in Ireland? Mm, actually, I only see traffic going one way. Is this a one way? Where's traffic going the same way I am? Okay, it looks like a one way traffic. And wow, there's a lot of traffic. I don't know, I'll have to wait till I see... Uh, here's my right turn. Oh, 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 they're driving on the correct side of the road. Woohoo! Good on you, Irish. And good on you, Microsoft, for getting that right, or a Sobo. I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah. On the left hand side of the road. Get back on our flight path here. There's a bridge you can't fit under. Watch the power lines. I do like this aircraft. Alright, where does this road go? So I need to take a left and cross the river. And then I can follow that road. Eh, hey, why not? This is this is joy flight time. How's my stream going? Uh, we got a couple of people who are semi-interested, I'm guessing. We're going across the river. And it is seem to be coming across excellent, so that's good. Oh, that looks like a toll, a tollway. Hate tollways. Ching, there goes my coins. Thank you. Or euros, it'd be still. Plane guy, you still here? Do you have euros still in Ireland, or did you actually get euros in the first place? Because you're still part of the European Union, aren't you? Where's that road go? I don't think I was meant to go up there. Just follow the river. Road goes around, comes back. Okay, very good. I do like this plane. Nobody flying with me tonight. Probably should have waited till 10 p.m. Uh, started a couple of hours too early. Some of the uh, people are not up. 
early enough. Although Plain Guy was up nice and early. I think it's early in Ireland, isn't it? Where's that go? That goes the way I want to go. Navigating by the roads instead of the flight path. Works for me. Well, that road looks like it's up on the side of the hill. I don't think the satellite picture got that one quite right. Or well, the computer didn't, AI didn't, uh, probably had too much shadow on the road. It didn't know exactly where it was other than it knows there's meant to be a road there. You see a road kind of ends there in the trees. That works. Place some trees on it. What's our speed? 200 knots? I might get going a little faster there. Now still above 6 on the fuel, so we're good. I reckon I can uh, max it out and see how fast we can get this thing. Alright, where is my... Speed. We're still only doing 300 knots, but probably because we keep banking and turning and bleeding off speed following the road. Alright, that road seems to go about where I want to go, so let's just put it in straight there. What's my altitude? No, let's bring that down to a th 1,000, 1,500, 1,300, that'll do. Now we can have a look around. Very nice. Now, looking in Volanta, there's a whole bunch of people over in the UK flying around, multiplayer, uh, in um, the Volanta app, but there's nobody, oh no, wait, tell a lie, the one person just left Ireland, it's over the Irish Sea, Tom129. Now I'm sure maybe Vatsim, no, we've got one person at Cork at Vatsim, Avo, there's one person right in the middle, FS Cloud. Yeah, there's one. Alright, so we've got a few people that I can see they've got the same software that I've got. Alright. I might just autopilot pop that back down to about 800 feet. Thank you. Where are we here? What is this? Actually, I can use this map and zoom in. So we just went over Waterford. Alright. Dungarvan. Okay. Yugal. Yugal. Alright, well we're making our way into Cork. Cool. may not need to land at Cork. I may just go back up to... Uh, what it is, Shannon, I think. That does look cool. Let's give that a sideways look. Very nice. Now, can I use auto navigate on this? No. Okay. No, there's no auto navigator on this anyway, so. The only thing I do have is uh, fly level, which we're going to need to, yeah, pull up there. It's 150 knots. We're doing all right. Where's this next place we're going to? Besides Cork, where are we going past? Let's uh, zoom in on my map. 
Plashmore. There's a little village here, is it? Right before the uh, river or creek, whatever it is. Yep, Plashmore and Yugal is the. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Is the uh, harbour coming up? Oh, lots of harbours at Ireland, that's cool. Got lots of nice green countryside here. Very good. Get back over near the road, that would be cool to see. That's a big building, if that's correct. It looks like a uh, office building out in the middle of nowhere. Resume own navigation contact call. Yep, okay. Uh, I've been resuming my own navigation the whole time anyway. Through the main town, follow that down. Okay. Got plenty of fuel. Yep, just below six. Yep, we should make it to my planned destination. Maybe top up and go flat out there. the road go. Can you use that this way? Oh, road goes that way, does it? Okay. So what was that place? I can't see my planes over it. Something Marta. I can't see it. Whoop, it's not crash. So we're definitely heading in towards Cork here. I don't know where the oh, airport's south of Cork. Okay. I will fly over though. I've got to have a look. like a hippie plane or a uh, what do they call those uh, bull rings nose ring things all right we are definitely making our way over to Cork here first time I've flown this way it's pretty cool let's get back in where it's a little bit quieter Making good time. If anybody wants to come and join me, you can. I am now pretty much going to be buzzing uh, E I C K, that's Echo India Charlie Kilo, which is cork. You will need something that will do 360 knots. You can get this plane. Uh, in my um, showcase videos, there are links in the description. I don't know, remember which one it was, uh, but it is the what do we call it? The Fuga Majesty. Oh, I think the airport must be up over the top here somewhere. Let's go and have a look. There we go. Actually looks really nice here. 
It's a decent, decent long uh, runway heading north south there. I'd say it's a fairly uh, decent airport then for this area. It's not like some little municipal airport. Alright, now let's head back up north. Where was my next E-I-N-N -N. Shannon 348 degrees. Alright, keep an eye on that uh, compass. 348, thank you. I'll take that and I'm going to maintain a 2500 altitude, please. And then what we'll do is we'll sit back and let some autopilot do it and have a look around. How you doing? You seem to be holding that all right. Hey Denzel, oh wow, you are so close to 1,000 subs. I am, aren't I? That's awesome. And then there's going to be a giveaway. All right, that gives a nice uh, angle. Only four to go. All right, thank you. Four lucky people. Still have a chance to join the 1000 Club. I'll have to take a snapshot of uh, all my subscribers so that I can get my wife to pick one of the names that match the first 1000. I don't want to wake up in the morning and find out that I've got 1010 and 10 people are going to sneak in, not one of those first 10, <laughs> first 1000. I'll wake up and there's 2000. No, it's not going to happen. But, thank you very much for subscribing. For those who have, you obviously like the content, like doing this type of stuff. Hope you're not giving me away. Giving you away what? No, you know what the, uh, the giveaway is. One free payware aircraft out of the selection of uh, aircraft that I put in the videos that has the first 1,000 subscriber icon on it. So basically, it's going to cost me... I don't know, $30, $40 uh, as a free giveaway. But I thank you very much for the first 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I've purchased most of the aircraft myself. There's a couple I haven't. But I figure I can uh, get a... Um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, a voucher, e-voucher thing, and I can actually uh, give it or gift it away. So... Have you finished your flight already? How long have I been going for? 38 minutes. Did you land at... Uh, uh, well, hang on, where were you landing again? Um, starts with K? I can't remember. <laughs> Mind blank. And how did you get that Cessna there so fast? I'm leaving your airspace. I am leaving your airspace, aren't I? This is a pretty cool plane. You see the cockpit from outside. We get the gauges. Yes, we can. Very nice. Yeah, it was a very short flight. Yeah, okay. What was the name of the place again? Um, Kandahar? I think it was. Yeah, Kandahar, there we go. Continue as planned. Okay, thank you. I shall continue as planned. It's just a really short hop over the mountain, really. Yeah. Look, Kandahar was a good place to take off from. It might have been from Kandahar to the... Uh, I think I went into Iran. That it was actually in, in the dark. But I still think it was that same mountain I almost ran into it. Yes, jet's really nice. And freeware. FSX. Woohoo! Should have a look inside if you haven't already. Have a look at this. Now this, this is eye candy. Everything's working. Including my fuel gauge, which I'm now down to just over 4,000 uh, kilos 
No, 4,000 litres of kerosene. Uh, I wish the buttons and stuff would work. I mean, you can use it on the keyboard if you, or if you've got your own uh, stuff. Yeah. Need to do a big flight soon. Uh, what, from Kandahar to uh, Dubai? Uh, actually, I thought you were doing... Um, I thought you were going to do it to an Iranian island. Um, are we going through a lot of airspace here? There we are. Oh, we're going to do a whole bunch more. I might actually land at Shannon. Isn't it? Isn't it what? And this is the Irish livery. So I'm actually in an Irish plane over Ireland. But they've got a lot of French and I think a couple of other nations. Shannon approach. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to force my co-pilot to ask for a landing or touch and go when he stops talking. Okay, I'm actually offline. And then two, oh, four, eight, yep, he went off. Got to go, I'm hungry, yep, all right. Straight to Kish Island, next flight. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, can we can we talk, please, co-pilot? Now what? Stop discussing and let me talk to E I N N. Um, what was my fuel status? And where have I got to go? Yeah, I'm gonna f fill up here. Watch, um, watch what they're gonna say there. Good night, Adenzel. South with Golf to land. Alright, what are we missing out here? Farms, property. Isn't it beautiful? I'm still waiting on that permission to land. Come on, I've got 15 miles. I'm actually doing a fair, a fair speed. My 15 miles are going to run out real quick. Isn't it nice? Left traffic, 2-4. 155 at 1-4, okay. Acknowledge. Uh, runway 2-4, so run, fly left traffic. Runway 2-4. over here on the other side of the harbour. Look at this, isn't that nice? Now, I wish I'd flown over more of Ireland before. Um, I think I only got to Northern Ireland one time. What's those two white stripes down there? Is that... What is that? Is that power lines? white stripes along the ground. Must be a reflection from power lines. It goes to the it goes to the water there. Or maybe the uh, satellite didn't uh, take a good enough picture there. So 2-4. Uh, left traffic 2-4. So I'm almost going to have to turn all the way around. Yeah, alright. Left traffic. Whoop, whoop. We're almost going right traffic, aren't we? Not left base. Left traffic. Two four, okay. Maybe my runway there, but I'm coming in from the wrong direction. I'm guessing. Where 
Yeah, I don't remember if I've ever landed this one. Terrain, yes, I can see the terrain. I, I am down low deliberately. Terrain or train? It just says train. We've got X's on the uh, runway there. I'm guessing you can't land from that side. You have to land from the other side. All right, runway six. Barely made it left traffic, didn't I? Pilot. I have the uh, comms at the moment. Let's take the gear down. I'm going to pop in some flaps as well because usually gear is air brakes. Should have enough strength in the jets to keep us up. How sharp we can get in there. Acknowledge. Thank you. It's right behind, thank you. Oh, I don't like that view. Bring it in nice and smooth, please. Alright. You can hear it beeping at me. It's fairly quiet. Okay, we are over the runway and still a little too high, but it's... Wow, it hovering. It looks so slow inside the cockpit here. Alright, let's bring it down, thank you. Oh man, it just looks like you're sitting on the ground. This thing is so short. Alright, I want to get to fuel, so... Acknowledge. Ground. I'm going to have to turn around. Ground services. No, nope, got to get clearance first, okay. Right, a little faster thingy, thank you. Now, where's the fuel station? take that off. Now, I don't see a fuel station here. It's got to be up over here near the... Uh... Oh, it's way down there. Okay, well, it's all part of the joy flight. My compass trying to catch up. Yeah, I don't see one here. Running around looking for one. Nothing coming in. Thank you. Um, I'm lost. Where is the fuel station at Shannon? Is there a fuel station over there? Oh, motor bit. Where is all the other traffic? Is there nobody here? Shannon Airport closed. I don't think that's the way to go. Let's have a quick look on the map.
buildings. It's not much here, I don't think. Kinda looks like a, a fuel station over there to my right. Or a small building. Can't tell. I think maybe what we need to do is, uh, doing this type of trip, you need to come in and uh, download a um, add-on for little airports like this. Because I, look, there's no traffic. No. Not even AI. I don't think it's uh, necessarily finished. So, we're under the half a tank, so I might just uh, pull up somewhere and request truck mugger. Hello. G'day. I'm looking for a fuel depot here at Shannon Airport. Do you think I can find... There's a shadow of a plane there. Do you think I can find anything at Shannon Airport? It's desolate. It's not finished. Do they think that nobody will bother going to Shannon Airport? Like, even the taxiways don't look like they're complete. It's closed. Why do we have two windsocks next to each other? Is that redundancy, just in case one fails? This looks like a dirt road. On your F222 short video, um, did you get afterburner working? with the gen hub uh, and the flaps up. I've got the flaps up. Uh, I've got the gen hub working, but I don't know about the afterburner. Um, yeah, Shannon is terrible. Uh, yeah, if I put park brake on, can I request ground services? Nope. All right. I'm just going to pretend that I called a guy over with a pickup truck. And he came here and filled me up with 100% worth of fuel, so... There we go, kerosene up, thank you. Park brake back off. The crash channel, Brett needs for four more subs to 1,000. That's awesome. Alright. Do we have flaps down? I don't remember. Yeah, we do. I'm going to take off on here since... Um, Probably should announce. That's taxi options. You know what? Bugger it. You guys got nothing here. I'm assuming nobody's listening or watching me take off anyway. So, see you guys later. And if you complain that I took off without permission, well, tough. Yeah, there's nothing there. Is it under construction, is it? So, was Ireland not part of the update? I thought it was. Was it just Northern Ireland? Because Shannon, hello? That was terrible. All right, you have to park and then fuel up. Yeah, park where? I did it again, still trying to fly with my mouse over the... Alright. Let's park it in at 400, can we? No. Yeah, we can. We might not want to at 600. Uh, Quiz... Quinzerac. Now, I thought I said that you'd have a look at the Boeing. No, right, I do. I have it installed. And guess what? It's invisible. So the 2707 SST uh, plane is invisible. 
Uh, what I will probably do is try and get it. Um, you you kind of got to cheat the system and uh, copy the MDL file from the external and make it the internal, and hopefully it doesn't mark up. Um, so I will give that a go. It's still installed. I'm going to have to delete it and reinstall it. Um, so, yeah, I do have it. Quinserac. Mugger. Landmarks were updated. No airports at all, which is sad uh, to see because I fly at Dublin mainly. Yeah, I, I took off from there. And there are no scenery files for Dublin. Nobody's got scenery files for Dublin? And you've searched, obviously. I would imagine. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing? We can actually go flat out here. Uh, I do have my flaps up, don't I? Yeah, I do. Very good. We're on flight path. What direction should we be heading? We're going to a Bell Mullet Aerodrome at 342. Oh, we're just off, so, you know, a couple of miles down the, the couple of hundred miles, we'd actually be right off flight line. Alright, 342. There we go. 600 feet. Woohoo! Hello down there. I'm sure you're happy that I'm uh, buzzing your farm. Yep, you've already searched. Now, um, if anybody wants to come and join me, they can. Uh, if you want this particular plane... Oh, don't, uh, don't slow down now, Internet. You've been doing really well up to now. Did it hiccup? Was that just my download hmm I'm using mobile phone data again tonight I don't know whether that just uh, kicked out or or what happened well, I am actually below the top of that hill there luckily we're going around so yeah don't know if the internet's keeping up or good uh, well, there are, but uh, not for the airport or anything, just landmarks. Oh, okay. What's the population of Ireland? Is there not enough Irish people interested in updating it themselves, getting Google stuff? I mean, normally it takes... Normally it takes uh, enough population to uh, drive the demand to get things done. Although, that being said... Uh, there's half a million Tasmanians and some guy's gone and put in Bathurst Harbour which is uh, as a custom airport and done it up which is basically a dirt strip right down the very bottom of uh, Tasmania used mainly for research and development people to fly in and out of because it's way out in the wilderness and nobody lives there except the ranger or the likes so you can get all sorts of stuff I guess if someone's willing to do it. Eh, let's take 1500. Now this is not loading in overly well. Hopefully the download is not my issue with the internet. Or, there's just not much here. Might be, there's not much here. Still, there's a few farms. I've got off the flight path again, haven't I? Oh, because I had my autopilot off for the climb. Okay. Let's bring it over. You know what? Let's go ride it down. Follow the hill down. Four hundred feet. Woohoo! Following three, four, seven, three, four, six. Yep. Okay. No 
No, nope, it didn't work. What happened? Try that again. There we go. At least we've got texture in the water here. Very nice. We'll do a little bit of a climb here if we can. Colourful Tree says, but plays, can you do a video on how to convert helicopters to Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, when I work it out properly, I mean, I had help with the other one, so I don't know exactly. Got a bit of an idea. Yeah, I, I do need to work it out properly, and then, yeah, I'll make a video. Um, I'll try when the game keeps crashing uh, when I load one. Yeah, well, that's kind of what's happening with mine without the help. So, um, files that do work, and if what I'm hoping to do is, hang on, let me just park this back in here before we slam into the hills, uh, into those fans. I might just take it up to about 2,000. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to get the link for the original helicopter and the edited files, make the edited files available, but you can't let the whole thing be available because if you do that, uh, you're breaching copyright. But if you're just... Um, getting people to download their own and then using the uh, copied text or the copied, um, so the edited file to put into it and get it working, might be all right there. Oh, is my internet suffering? Are we downloading lots of information here, are we? Hope not. Would like no more uh, than to just get everybody into helicopters. Maybe it's rendering all these turbines that's the issue. Would love to get everybody into the um, helicopter because then I can do multiple flights with people. Um, we've only had a couple of people that have got them working so far and that's only because there's been uh, assisting each other doing it. But I think... Um, if you, if you visit my uh, Discord, you'll actually see that someone's working on it. Um, and so hopefully they will be releasing stuff soon. Which would be awesome. And they are FSX aircraft as well. Yeah, well, basically helicopters, but yeah, FSX. I guess a helicopter's still an aircraft. Very cool. All works this as well, if only you could press buttons. Although I don't know what I would need to press at the moment. The distance doesn't work. that time 10 o'clock what's local time 10 a.m. yeah all right where are we we are past Galway Galway which was way back there somewhere oh this is an impressive plane this Where's my co-pilot? He's it gone. It's alright, I got nobody either. Alright, let's have a look on the map where we are. Heading towards Westport. Is it Demullet or something? Bell Mullet. Oh, it's going to be pretty close. Let's reset our barometer so that we actually are cruising at the right altitude here. 
might do is put the camera speed back up. Hey Box, hi, I'm back. Welcome back. Hey Box, I'm going to do a bit of a. Oh yeah, that's a fast drone. It kind of shows you. I, I kind of. I'm just a speck in the uh, wilderness here. There we go. That is a very fast drone. So close to a thousand. It is, isn't it? It's awesome. I was saying probably while you were off uh, um, the video that I will probably um, take a snapshot of the first 1,000 subscribers so that I can see their names and then my wife can pick one of those because if we do it in the morning or tomorrow night there could already be another 10 or 20 people there. It's been going up sometimes to 20 in a day, which is pretty cool. But I am giving away a, a free payware for the first uh, thousand subscriber people uh, as one random person will be chosen. If you have seen my uh, videos that include that, hang on, what do I, want? I want that one there. And I am way off, where am I? Five, six. That's not right. Great for screenshots. This this here is awesome for screenshots. Oh, with the drone, yeah. Also, you can do this. So if I went like that, I press off there and I just go snap, take a screenshot. Thank you very much. That's a, um, a mod though that you can just press backspace and it turns off all your stuff and then what you can do is I use my Xbox controller and I can just uh, pan around choose where I want it hit F12 there's my picture down the bottom right hand corner backspace turns it back on now I definitely got off my flight path 342 is what I was meant to be on I was way out on 35 something so What is with these little islands? They kind of look like sand islands or the ground's been pushed up a bit. And then there's a big building over here. I wonder what the deal is with that. And where are we heading? Let's leave it at 600, thank you. I wonder what that building is. Is that meant to be a lighthouse or something? Or is it an old stone castle? Oh, it's a stone castle. Well, you know what that reminds me of. Well, they made that movie, um, Entrapment, with, with uh, Sean Connery. Oops. I'll zoom in only on here, thank you. Mulrani. Okay, hello Mulrani, we're coming through. That's my flight path. Where's my compass? There it is. That's north. Is that north? No, I was going to say, that's not north. You're out. Uh, so the outside compass is different. Doesn't it look like a lot of details put in out here. Do they not expect enough people to fly the back islands of Ireland? I wonder if it's the same in Scotland. Up in the Highlands. Hmm. Wish I could join, but I haven't got uh, MSG. I'm guessing you mean a Microsoft Flight Sim yet. No? Okay. Well, till then, I will keep streaming for you. A little village, probably a fishing village there, I'd say. Wow, imagine living out here. Hopefully that, um... Internet's keeping up for you guys. It does occasionally lag for me, but that might be it's just trying to load in 
something new. How long have we been going for? An hour and ten. Okay. Well, I'll probably finish it uh, when I get to the final destination. Wow. The towns and stuff. Okay, so I guess they got farms. What do they do out here? Cat, like sheep or uh, grow crops or what do they do? Bennett, Brett, I tried to get the Concorde imported and the plane did not appear to work when loading. Do you know any of the extra steps? Okay, one step that most people seem to get wrong all the time is um, because it is a uh, Riku.com uh, download and they have an EXE file, when you double click on that, it often defaults to try and install as a P3D file first. You've actually got to click the little, I want to choose a uh, FSX instead. So it's kind of like, it tricks you into installing the wrong one. So then what you've got to do is make sure you, when you install it, click FSX. Um, Failing that, well, that's, that's usually what happens when people can't see it actually uh, in their hangar. Like it might say that it's there, but it's not. Um, is this just a grass strip, is it? E I B T? I'll have a look. So the the thing to do is um, make sure you box. Are you using the 2020 or the 2019? Of what? Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Please uh, let me know what it is you were referring to. The, uh, you mean the 2020 version of um, the Concorde historical pack? If you're using the one that is linked in my description, it is updated uh, July last year. Is it 2019 Microsoft Flight Sim? What do you mean? So, if you have though, Bennett, if you do actually have FSX, install it into the folder. If you do that, uh, it will draw out all the gauges for your cockpit when you bring into Microsoft Flight Sim. If you uh, do not have um, if you do not have uh, Flight Sim, you've got to put it into a temporary folder. Make sure you click in the FSX one. And then from the temporary folder, I'm going to go around. It doesn't look like we're going very fast, but it's deceptive. Getting a bit of a breeze. I'm going to go around these cliffs here, just because I, I can go around the cliffs. Um, so yeah, you need to put it in a temporary folder and then use the legacy importer to draw it out of that. You won't have all the gauges though, because a lot of them are reliant on uh, default Flight Simulator X files. Oh, at least we've got some cliffs here. That's pretty cool. A little hut on the top of the hill there. This says... Take a picture of me. Where is my mouse? Get back on there. That's pretty cool. Wow. Eh, for the rest of their place not being uh, generated, it's quite nice here. But I need to head further north, so... Well, you know what? It's nicer by the cliff face. Well, yep, almost went splash down again with the mouse over that um, VFR. It's quite nice. We'll follow the cliff line here into... Um, Where's our final destination again? Someone remind me.
Donegal. Okay, I will uh, have to try out the FSX folder. Uh, by the way, I tried out the Harrier and it was working after some uh, conflict changes. Just need to fix the livery textures. Yeah, in the Legacy Importer, there is a texture thing you can run to change from uh, BMP to DDS files. What you do is you um, you click on those, and if the first one fails, you click on the second uh, program in there, and it will run it for you. And then you should have textures that come over. And if you're using the same Harry that I have, uh, I know it works. You know what? This might make a bit of a squeak, but let's shut our roller door there, because I think I'm getting uh, some mosquitoes coming in at 9 o'clock. Sun's down. I'm going to climb here. Even though it's pretty cool there, I want to see more. Wow, look at that. That deserves another picture. Wow, how high did we just get? Oh, only 5,000. Head more out over the water towards where we want to go. So that's probably about the right angle. Get up to 7,000. Just because, you know, whoops. Uh, slow climb. Yep, okay, that'll do. Alright. So, there's kind of a inlet here. Uh, there is another player out here, though. Who's that? I have a D DLH from EDDF to JFK. Oh, wow, good on you. Don't know. All right, we've got a few people over Ireland now. I'm guessing people are waking up in Ireland. What, what time is it there? Anybody know? Do a quick uh, time zone. That's not it. One below that, thank you. Let's have a look. Jim T is 10 a.m. Oh no, they'd be already up. No problem. But we got a few more people on uh, Volanta now. What I'll do is I'll show you guys on the stream what I am dragging my neck around to see. All right, let's get that out of where we'll put it down there. All right, so I only turned it on here, but I actually came down from Dublin following the road here, down through Cork into Shannon, and then we just did this part of the flight. But then we've got another player here. And we also have a VMA 172s coming out of, uh, was it again, Donegal? which is where I'm heading to, or no, sitting at Donegal. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut myself across to here and then we'll run down the, uh, the coastline. This program is free, by the way, Volanta. I um, do have a video on uh, my Discord in under Utilities or whatever it was. I think it's Utilities that Kiwi Mace did a quick video on that. Uh, and I thought that was awesome. Yes, I'm definitely doing that. I think I'm on live weather. I am. I'm on live weather and live time. So, duh. It's 10.17. I could have just looked there. Now, 
now? What's happened to my music? We got to the end of that, have we? Just some classical stuff here while we're out and about. Oh yeah. So those strings going for it. Oops. Looking down too far. Well, you almost need sunglasses on there. Back over the coastline, lots of uh, lots of cliff line here. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, we filled it up. We probably didn't even need all of that. But best to have it full if you can when you do a little touch and go like that. Now I wonder why the alert box didn't pop up before. Definitely have it on. Yep. Just in case somebody does subscribe. Uh, but I don't think it's even connecting for some reason. It's not even checking my uh, YouTube for the last six days. So something's not right there. Might have to do a bit of a uh, research. I kind of want to pop it up on the screen when you guys subscribe. It's pretty cool. I can actually give a personal thanks. A lot of other um, streamers do the same thing. Which is pretty cool. Now I am going to do the coastline here. That looks like a, uh, a bit of a valley and stuff to go flying in, so... Where is this place, I wonder? I don't think there's enough time for me to uh, look on my map. Yep, yeah, no, maybe. Killy bags. Wow, we're doing 500 knots. No wonder that's hard to pull up. Uh, no, killy bags is where we're heading to now. If I continue down this way, that's what it says. Yeah. yeah we'll keep heading up more north than east. Oh wow. It's a little harder to turn back over when you're um, full speed. I do like the low level flying though. Kind of looks like there's a bit of a gully to get through. This way, you know, maybe. Close. Should go do some Mark Loop flying. I have done some of that. A little bit of a practice as well. Alright, what have we got? Not the fastest plane. Still, it's very nice. Back to our final destination here. Let's see if we can lock that altitude and direction in, thank you. wind turbines, they work when you're in a windy place. It's flat down here. Alright, we are on the
the right path to get to Donegal. Which is probably where I will finish it tonight. So if you have stuck with me, thank you very much. Uh, if you've come and gone, that's cool. If you're watching this in the future, this is just a bit of a joy flight in something that I, look, I really hardly uh, did any show and tell with it. Ooh, we're going to make these trees. That's cutting it close. 410, we'll do our barometer. That's why we're at 370. Woohoo! Alright. Alright, I'm going to have to slow down and find the final airport here. Zoom in on the VFR. Thank you. Alright. It's time to remember to take my mouse off. It's over there to my right. We're getting some shadow behind us. Nice. Oh, pressed up a little too quick. That too late, didn't I? Got air brakes on this? Oh yeah, those things pop out of the wings, that's right. too fast here. Yeah, you know what, I'll do an outside landing this one. Two one. <laughs> I almost touched down there. Oops. Oh, what did I press there? I pressed something and it went down by mistake. Oops. Tried to get the uh, landing permission thing working there. Well, that was a mistake. I left it too late to uh, call. Take full flaps here though. For this type of turn. Yeah, it's a bit better. Forty percent flaps. That just hovers down now. Those air brakes sucked the life out of my... Wow, get down. That's too much flaps. Oh. Actually, I'll keep those. Yeah, that's where the wind is. Look at it. What did they say the wind was? 25. 25 knot crosswind. Woohoo! Alright. Rest of parking, please. got better stuff at the airport. Look at it. Crane and fuel truck. Awesome. What happened to Shannon? Someone forgot it. That's terrible. Yeah, 
Yeah, taxi to general aviation. Okay, cool. Where's my blue line? Alright, well, there really is only one spot there, so I'm guessing that's me. No, okay, we're stuck in a loop now. Alright, I'm going to put on my... Uh... No, this one, thank you. Sorry, mate, I almost run into you. Oh, I've only got to say again now. So I broke the uh, ATC touching my wheels on the wrong way there and pressing the button to try and go around. Where are you supposed to stop here? You know what? I will stop right there. Thank you. Park engines off. Thank you. down all right thank you everybody for watching if you've made it this far in my video thank you very much no i didn't copy or I've, all i got is a say again not a bad airport i actually like this one i might have to try this airport again later in a different aircraft all right and that's all for tonight's impromptu stream Thank you very much. I will pop in that we are ending now. So like, comment and subscribe and have a great day. Cheers.